back bitches so yes yeah, school is over i am done with all of that crap now i'm back home i've moved everything back in and if you guys didn't notice i have a whole new setup here so a little bit of a different location i have a professional light i have a couple mics here and two screens it's probably all very extra but it just makes me feel like more of a youtuber but anyway, we're gonna get on with this video because it's well overdue. So here is the latest news that's been happening in the past few months. Okay, so I apologize in advance if this video is all over the place. There's just been so much news and it's been really hard for me to keep up with all of it. So I'm sorry if I leave anything out of this video. I'm just going to kind of focus on like the big things that have been happening. Anyway, so yes, I know you all clicked on this video to hear about the Met Gala that happened a couple nights ago and Harry's outfits and all of that, but trust me, we will get to that later in this video. But first, I want to start off with Louis Tomlinson. We've been getting some recent pictures and videos of Louis. He's been doing interviews, and he's also had a performance as well, singing his new song. And before I show you guys these new videos and pictures of Louis, I would just like to say I am so glad that Louis's keeping himself busy, and he hasn't given up on any music stuff. As you guys know, Louis's sister passed about a month ago. No, I did not talk about it on my channel because it was just way too personal, and I just didn't think I had to talk about it. But yes, that is a thing that happened. But I'm just so glad to see that. That Louis is holding on just like his song says he's still making music he's still performing and he's still out there being the best Louis he can be so anyway here are the new videos and pictures of Louis that we've gotten this past month Okay, first of all, that whole Louis and Richard segment was the cutest thing ever. I know a bunch of celebrities do this kind of thing sometimes, but you can tell that Louis genuinely did this to be nice. And you could tell he had a really good time. He wasn't doing it for publicity or money. I almost feel like they're vibing, like they're friends, you know? And that was just a nice thing that he did for an old person, you know, achieving their bucket list. So I thought that this was just the cutest thing that I've seen in a while. Tomlinson and I'm very very excited to announce that I'll be playing the Coca-Cola Music Experience Festival in September in Madrid. I hope to see you there. I suppose it depends on the stage, but pretty decent. A brisk walk. Probably get that going. <laughs> Is that your brisk walk? <laughs> no, that's no, chilling. That's no, chilling. I can walk purpose, you know what I mean? Um, Alright, I'll come.
is the thing that you miss most about being in 1D? Uh, probably uh, tour it, you know, that's you know, why I'm, I'm excited to perform today and uh, excited, excited to get out on the road myself. We spent a lot of the time, I felt like, you know, 60-70% of our time touring and being on the road. Uh, and that's the best thing, you know, about being an artist, so I'll probably tour it. Do you miss many socks and like people getting in your face? I mean, yeah, between me and now, we'll probably up there with the smelliest anyway, so it's alright. If you could be any other celebrity for a day, who would you be and why? That's such a good one. Um, <laughs> it's funny that you think that's a good question. Do you um, like it? <laughs> no, I'm joking. joking. That's why it's a good one, because I want to see what you've got to say. Let me think, let me think. You should probably be a good answer to this. I'll, 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 I'll go close, close to home, Niall, Niall Oren. Oren. He doesn't, he doesn't worry, worry about, about anything about in the world. world. He has yeah. the, he's just... Did you do an Irish accent though? Yeah, I am not too bad, I'm not too bad. That's all right. I spend a lot of time with Niall, yeah. It's not bad, is it? It's all right, so... Like some chicken, wrapped in like some parma ham, stuffed with a bit of mozzarella. The fact that Louis hasn't done a single romantic thing since the chicken stuffed with mozzarella thing, that says a lot. Like, I don't know if that's sad or good. It's kind of questionable to me because even if he's with Harry, you know, you'd think that he'd do some more romantic stuff. But let's just say he's with Eleanor, you know, because that's what everybody wants us to think. If he's with Eleanor and that's the most romantic thing that he's done for her or whoever it was for. I mean, come on, Louie, like step up your game a little bit. You got to do something more than the chicken stuff with mozzarella. Like maybe stuff something else in something else. That sounds so wrong, but you know what I mean. I'm sure Louie has done more romantic things, but the fact that he's still brings up that damn meal. I think he's doing that for us. Like, I'm not saying it's fan service. I just think he knows what he's doing. He knows that we know. <laughs> Okay, so now on to Harry. So I am not gonna start off with the Met Gala topic yet. I'm actually gonna talk about some other pictures we got before the whole Met Gala event. So basically Harry was spotted out. And no, I don't know where the hell he's at, but he looks pretty good. And I know, I do the news. I'm supposed to know where people are at, what time, what they're doing, you know, like a typical stalker. But I'm sorry, I just don't know where he was. The update accounts did not tell me where he was, but does it really matter where Harry was? I mean, just the fact that we get to see pictures of him looking dapper as hell, um, that's all I need. So yeah, as we all know, Harry has a few nicknames we like to use, especially the name Sue. His friends have given him that nickname before, but I like to call Harry the lady in red. I mean, it's a great color on him. It's also Louis's favorite color, so. That's great. My style is very inspired by Harry Styles, but you might not be able to notice today because my style looks very much like Louis Tomlinson today. I kind of switch between the husbands. Like I'll wear a Harry Styles outfit and I'll wear a Louis Tomlinson outfit. So that's kind of what we're going for. Anyway, I just love how Harry can pull off any gender outfit. I don't really think clothing is gendered. I think it's more of like a feminine masculine thing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Harry makes the whole gender thing disappear when he wears clothing because all I see is Harry Styles. I just love how he's wearing the high-waisted pants and just like the red blazer coat to accent it, to go over it. Like red, white, and black are just colors that go really well together. <laughs> Now that we're gonna talk about the Met Gala, I really need to talk about Harry's outfits. Like, how can you not talk about outfits when you're talking about the Met Gala? So basically, for this year's Met Gala, the theme was camp. And if you guys don't know what camp means, no, we're not talking about camp rock or gay conversion therapy camp. No, we are talking about very expressive, like just being yourself. It's hard to explain, but I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so that was the theme of the Met Gala. So anyway, let me give you guys the rundown here first. I was about to go to bed last night, right? It was like midnight where I was. So I'm like, okay, I have a final the next day. Just one more final. I should probably get a good night's rest. No. All these pictures from these Harry Styles update accounts come out. And they're like, oh my God, the Met Gala is ready. Look at all these artists. Look at Lady Gaga. First of all, Lady Gaga slaying. Her dress was like a mile long. And she had literally like people carrying that dress. I think the Met Gala is a little bit extra with the way people dress sometimes. But I think Harry, even though he was very fashionable, I still think he kept it pretty simple. He didn't want to be too show-offy. And that's what's really cool about Harry. He can still look gorgeous and look very fashionable without trying to show off and be too much. And that's what I really like about his outfit. <laughs> Now it's time to analyze Harry Styles' outfits. I'm not the best at talking about outfits. I did not go to school to be like an announcer because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know anything about fashion. All I know is that it looks good and Harry Styles can pull off 
anything. He can wear a trash bag and I'll probably wear one the next day because hashtag inspired. So basically, once I started seeing pictures of Harry Styles, I could not believe my eyes. Like, I wasn't surprised in a sense, but at the same time, I'm like, oh my god, I've never seen Harry Styles wear something like this before because it's complete sheer, like from here and down. You can clearly see like all his tattoos on his arms, on his chest. You can see the nips. The nips were popping out. Hunty was slaying. Literally that back shot of Harry Styles, his whole back is exposed. You can see like every little freckle, every little detail. Sorry if I sound creepy, but hey, welcome to the One Direction fandom. Everything about this outfit, like I'm sure it's like some sort of like female outfit, but the point of the Met Gala theme was that it didn't matter if you're male or female wearing whatever. Clothing is about expression. And Harry was also spotted with Kendall Jenner as well. The media might spin that and make it seem like they're dating, but literally he was probably just saying, hey girl, do you like my outfit? It's better than yours. Like, I don't know. Kendall looked pretty good though. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below about Harry's outfit. Like I can't even explain his outfit. Like, <laughs> I can describe it to you any way you want, but you guys have eyes. You can clearly see this outfit right here. Like, I've been staring at all these pictures for the past couple days, and they get better and better. And then there's some pictures, like, that are still coming out of nowhere. Like, I haven't seen them yet, and I'm just like, where are all these pictures coming from? Like, stop. I need to breathe. I need to live. Like, I'm sure that photographers got every single angle of Harry Styles' body, and that's why there's been a ton of pictures of him coming out. Not only was Harry's outfit amazing, I just think the backdrops have to be appreciated as well. When you have like a really good outfit and also just a really good body, when Harry's in front of pink colors or flowers, like, you know, like the whole aesthetic thing, it really brings out the black somehow. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it just makes the picture look so much better and his outfit look that much more stylish and fashionable. So I think the backdrops have a lot to do with how it makes Harry's outfit look. And it's a really nice touch. Do you know what I loved most about this event? Harry looks so happy. And I think that's the thing that we really have to focus on. Like at the end of the day, we can all talk about like how good Harry looks in an outfit or like how he was dancing and how he was lip syncing to the songs at the event. You know, like that was all cute. That was all funny. That's great. But the thing that I love the most about this event is that Harry is expressing himself. He's expressing the way he feels on the inside and he's being his most authentic self, which is what he's always preached to everybody. And you can see on his face, he's like never looked happier. Like that's a genuine smile. He looks very happy, he's glowing, and you can tell he's very comfortable with himself. I'm sure someone picked out his outfit, but I think Harry did have a lot to say in what outfit he wore as well. And I think that's what I'm the most happy about or proud of from this event is just Harry looking happy and Harry feeling comfortable with himself. And I think that's really important to see. It's wonderful. You look amazing. Please tell me about thank your look tonight. You. Thank you. Thank it's, uh, you. It's Gucci. Yeah, that's right. It's Gucci. And, uh, it's pretty camp. What does camp mean to you? How would you define camp? Um, to me, I mean, I think it's about enjoyment, and about fun, no judgment, and. Um, I don't know, having fun with clothes, I think fashion's supposed to be fun. So. Yeah, and that's who you are. That's what it's all And I think it's a good time for that right now, so people being who they are. So. Now, you are a style icon for so many. Who's Harry Styles' style icon? Uh, this guy. Right here, Alessandro Michelle, please come on in. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's always. And I'm coming with a friend, you know? So it's always beautiful to go to a party with a friend. And you are so known for taking Gucci and, and, and making it into such whimsical, fantastical fashion. How would you define camp tonight? Um, freedom. Personality. I mean, a little touch of craziness just to, you know? Yeah. A young guy must be a little bit crazy. That's right. I'm not any more young, but I feel it. Hey, you're young at heart. Oh, oh, we got nails tonight? Oh, yeah, we always have nails. We always have nails, right? Hey, you nailed the look tonight, man. You nailed the look. Have a Gucci night, yo.
non-binary pals. There's only one way, which is to do that. Back in the days of One Direction, when they were more forced and controlled to do things and wear things, Harry probably didn't look his happiest. He could have just been tired and stressed from the career in general, but I think how they were controlled had a lot to do with it, like how they could dress, what they could say, etc. And now that all the boys are doing their own thing, they're expressing themselves more through their music, through their clothing, etc. And I think that's just the best thing that could have happened to One Direction. And that's why I always tell people that I almost prefer One Direction having their own solo careers and not being in a band. You guys can disagree all you want. Like, yes, I would love a One Direction reunion. That would be great. It'd be cool if they could all come back together and make some songs, you know, like a reunion album or tour. Cool. But I'm just saying that the decision that they made to perform on their own and do their own thing, I think it gave them all time to figure out themselves like louis is no longer the guy from one direction louis is his own identity his own entity and he now owns all these songs and he's now identified through his own talent louis is now louis tomlinson i hope that all made sense but that's like my genuine feelings about the met gala and just like one direction in general sorry if that was a different tangent i just wanted to bring that up if there is more news, write it down below and I will try to talk about that in my next video. But this was pretty much the bulk of the news in the past month. And also tell me down below if you guys wanna see any personal videos such as advice videos or maybe like vloggy type videos about myself because there's some things I'd like to share to you guys about my personal life and it might resonate with you guys and how you might feel, like that'd be kinda cool. Or maybe like a Q&A, like a tag video. You know, cause when there's no news going on in the One Direction fandom, it'd be still cool to delve into other topics so I can still be uploading content. Cause I really missed being on this YouTube channel and making videos for you guys. This is where my passion lays and I really missed it. And the fact that I'm no longer in school forever, like I'm done permanently, I should have more time to make videos. Like always, I make a new video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.